Hi, welcome to an episode of K-Pop Investigations, where I basically take a subject and do a little bit of a deep dive into it. And today we're going to be looking into the accusations made towards Irene from Red Velvet, basically in regards to her bad attitude, fans reactions to this, as Sam's reactions to this, and finally her own apology to this. Also, what we can learn in terms of how we put idols on a pedestal and then get so utterly shocked when things like this inevitably happen. So if you like these types of videos, please don't forget to like and comment on this video to help that good old algorithm or else I might forget that I exist. <laughs> Okay, so this whole thing started when a stylist who has been in the industry for 15 years uploaded an Instagram post regarding an unnamed female idol. However, despite the fact that the idol was not named, a lot of people were really quick to point out that it was a member of Red Velvet and specifically Irene. And this is because the stylist actually used the hashtags psycho and monster. And apparently they had also deleted previous posts mentioning Irene and Sergi. So this post in question reads, Today, on location somewhere in Ul, I was thoroughly stepped on and done over by one person. Even before I met her, I heard from others that I needed to be mentally prepared to meet her. Today, I was at that brunt of the electric needles shot by her and lost my words. I stood still as if my hands and feet and brain were tied up. I became a fool as I could not do anything in front of someone that was looking at me with such distaste while shuddering. I was hit by the endless knives she threw at me with her tongue and so I cried. I couldn't be bothered with caring about who I was in front of and just couldn't contain my tears. And then of course we see the hashtags psycho and monster. And so a lot of people ended up thinking that it was Irene. And she was definitely under a lot of scrutiny for having, you know, this alleged super bad attitude towards people that she was working with. Not only that, but apparently even having a history of doing this. Which obviously didn't go over so well with fans, but we will get into that later. So after this post was uploaded, not only do we have this stylist who has been in the industry for 15 years, we also have other people in the industry who are apparently showing their support for this post. However, it's important to know that the post is deleted, so there's no way that I can go and confirm this. There's also this rumor that the stylist had actually recorded Irene yelling at her so that she could protect herself, but nothing has been released. And on that note, there's a lot of people kind of criticizing the stylist for being so vague in the original post, right? A lot of people are saying, you know, if you're gonna expose someone, just say who their name is. Why do we have to do this type of witch hunt? Why can't you just release all of it all at once so it seems a little bit more credible because people are questioning the credibility given how vague it is, given the fact that no names are mentioned. But I did want to touch on that very briefly because I feel like it's kind of a trend, right? You release information about someone, but you don't say who that someone is, and then fans kind of go into this frenzy trying to find out who this person is, and then they kind of come to that conclusion. And I wondered why is that? Why don't people just straight out say, you know, this person did this? But I think if you're vague and you don't say who it is right off the bat, the hints that were left behind are kind of enough to get to that conclusion without getting sued for defamation. The defamation laws in Korea are a lot different. I've definitely heard that even if you say something that is true about someone, you can get sued for defamation. So I think not naming someone but giving enough hints so that fans can come up to the conclusion themselves is definitely smart to avoid a lawsuit. But back on track. With this information going around the internet, and again, we still haven't confirmed that it's Irene, but a lot of people are kind of on board that it is Irene. So with this, we see, of course, people defending her, people saying that, you know, it can't possibly be true because she's just so nice. And a lot of people obviously clearing searches on Twitter, on Naver, all of that jazz. And I did want to touch on that as well because if someone is nice to you or does nice things for you or buys you things, it doesn't mean that they, in that same breath, are not capable of treating you like shit. And I'm telling you this to prepare you for the real world. If someone does nice things for you, it does not excuse them treating you poorly. That's an important life lesson. But alas, after all of this speculation, it seems that the rumors were finally true. As Irene herself released an apology over on her Instagram. This is Irene. I sincerely apologize for hurting the stylist with my foolish attitude and careless words and actions. I am regretting and reflecting on the fact that I've hurt many people who have worked with me up to this point due to immature behavior. 
Looking back on the past because of this, I am feeling ashamed of my lacking behavior, actions, and words, and I have once again realized the importance of our staff members. I will think and act more carefully in the future so this does not happen again. I would like to sincerely apologize to the fans who support me and all the people who have been concerned about this incident. And it seems that she actually even met up with the stylist to apologize as SM said in their statement. This is SM Entertainment. We would like to comment about the article that was posted by Irene by a stylist. Irene met with the stylist in person this afternoon and sincerely apologized for the pain she caused the stylist due to her careless attitude and emotional outbursts and actions. We are very sorry for concerning many people with her immature image. We also feel responsible for this and we can't forget the hard work that all the people and staff we work with put in for both the company and the artists. We will make sure that something like this does not happen again for everyone we work with. Once again, we would like to apologize for causing concern to many people. And that's essentially where this story ends. However, I did want to dive into my own opinions as well as fans' reaction to this as well. So as for me, when I first heard about this, like, here's the thing. I'm not a Red Velvet stan. Like, I'll listen to their music when it comes out. I'll review their music. But I'm not, like, a hardcore fan or anything. But I've heard of Irene through, you know, the quote-unquote backlash she's received for doing basic things. And my friend actually made a video showcasing me saying, I'm not gonna lie, because of her resting bitch face and all of those elements put together, I definitely admired her because I generally am a person who has a resting bitch face who kind of seems really rude to people but really it's just it's just kind of the way I am I don't mean to be rude but I'm just very blunt and so yeah of course I've definitely had people paint me as this mean person when really I'm just apathetic and blunt not to be a broken record but there is a double standard because if a man had my same characteristics no one would bat an eye to that no one would bat an eye to an apathetic man who was really blunt. So I've definitely admired her. And my first thought when this happened was, well, maybe it's just sexism. That was my literal first thought. So before reading into it, my first thought was just, maybe she's just seemingly rude when actually she's not really rude. She's just kind of, again, apathetic and blunt, which are not bad things to be. But reading into it more, I understood it a little bit better. And, you know, if someone was hurt by what she did, then that's valid. I've definitely been on both ends. I've been someone who was purposefully mean, who was having a bad day, who was having a bad mental state, which are not excuses. But it was what it was. Am I proud of that? Absolutely not. So no, we can't just simply excuse actions because we love someone. But we also don't need to cancel someone. Do you know what I mean? You can hold someone accountable without wanting to see them fall. And I think a lot of people kind of agree with this for this situation, which I find super surprising because usually people are really so quick to jump on that hate train. And I asked you guys on my community tab what you guys thought of this, so I'm going to read some of your comments. The stylist said that there are stories about her attitude and that they didn't judge her prematurely, but were proven that Irene is indeed mean. This means the situation is not the only one nor the first. You can have bad days, but that doesn't give you the right to treat people poorly. Irene should have been professional and been polite. There's no excuse for tantrum that made a stylist cry. I'm taking the apology as damage control and I hope she matures because the attitude isn't cute. The issue is seeing them purely as idols. She is a person and every person can have bad days or poor behavior. We have no idea what was happening in her life. So yes, she should apologize, but it shouldn't loom over her head forever. I'm done with people who say that it was just a bad day. Many people and backup dancers who worked with Red Velvet supported the tweet and that says a lot. She's human. Idols have bad days too. We also don't know what went on behind the scenes. Maybe the stylist was doing something Irene wasn't comfortable with and she said something about it. We shouldn't hate on her for the attitude, especially since we fans also have attitudes. So yeah, that is basically it for this video. If you would like to share your thoughts in the comments down below, please do so. As for me, I'm going to get going. But before that, don't forget to like this video. You can also join my channel members to help support this channel in a different way. You basically pay a monthly price. You could get a cute Kevin emoji next to your name at level 1. At level 2, you can get sneak peeks. And at level 3, you can get videos earlier than everyone else. So it's just a fun little way to help support this channel. And I really appreciate it. These are the lovely individuals who help support my channel on a monthly basis. And I am so thankful for you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram. But yeah, I'm going to get going. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!